Hey guys, it's Sean, and today I have a couple unboxings for you guys. Uh, this is for the more budget-minded hobbyist, or maybe you are trying to get your first Tamiya, or you're in the RC hobby, but you want to try out all the Tamiya, some of the Tamiya kits, but you're not sure you want to like, invest too much money into it. Um, I have a couple of kits here that I'll unbox for you guys and talk about um, that are pretty budget-minded. Uh, and I have a off-road kit as well as, as a on-road kit. So depending on what kind of flavor of RC that you're into, um, we'll be able to cover it here. So, uh, but quick disclaimer, there are cheaper versions of both of these cars. Uh, these are the ones I personally chose for myself, but um, it's generally going to be, uh, th these, these models are generally considered to me as more, more popular um, entry-level offerings. So, um, since it's larger in the background, let's start with the Grasshopper 2. So this is, as you can see on the box, this is the Grasshopper 2. Um, I personally picked up the Black Edition because the Black Edition does feature a number of um, upgrades over the uh, standard Grasshopper. Um, as well as I like the look of the Black Edition a little bit better than the um, Grasshopper 2 regular box art. Um, and you can see this is the box art of the regular Grasshopper. It comes in white and then the red and blue color scheme, uh, which I'm not quite sure why they went with the red and blue color scheme when the regular Hornet has a green, it's a, is a green color scheme. So I'm not sure why they went with this color scheme, but that's what they chose. And then for the black edition, um, you're going to get a black injection molded body as well as these exclusive orange and gold decals. And you'll notice that the regular Grasshopper 2 is number 56, and then this one is numbered at number 57, which is a cool little detail. Uh, but kind of looking around the box, you can see it says it includes an ESC as well as CBA oil dampers, which, whereas the regular Grasshopper 2 will not include those. It'll just have uh, friction shocks. Um, you can see the nice little box art there. This one did come out, uh, it says 2017 down there, but the Black Edition, I believe, is a much newer model. I believe it came out closer to 2019 or 2020, something around there. Uh, so the Black Edition is a little bit newer. And uh, this version is gonna cost you a little bit more than the regular one. The regular Grasshopper 2, you can pick up on Tower Hobbies for a little bit over a hundred bucks, um, depending on what coupons they have offered. Uh, maybe you can get it for a little less than that. Um, the Black Edition is going to run you around $110, so a little bit more expensive, but I think it's, personally, I think it's worth it even just for the uh, CVA shocks. Um, so right here we have some like technical drawing of what the chassis is going to look like, some of the other stuff you need, just more box art there, Black Edition, uh, and, on, and it's just a sticker. Um, the Black Edition marking is just a sticker that's on the regular Grasshopper 2 box. You can see an image of the uh, the chassis there, as well as some more like artist drawings of the transmission and some of the mechanical details. And then just box art there as well. So let's tear into this thing. Um, this is a pretty old design. Uh, the design that I believe the Grasshopper 2 is either from, yeah, it's from the late 80s. So it's from 1988. Um, so late 80s, almost 90s. Um, so the, the design of the overall buggy is really simple and pretty rudimentary compared to a lot of stuff, but I think it's still really worth it. Just the way it looks, I think, I think this is a pretty, pretty, uh, nice looking buggy, um, at least in the black edition and some, some custom color scheme, but like it is a pretty nice looking buggy. Um, and for a beginner, it's going to be very, very simple to build, which is going to be, uh, nice as well. Um, it does include a motor um, as well as the ESC, but you are going to have to uh, get your own transmitter, your own battery and charger, your own receiver, and your own servo. Um, so if that's a little daunting for you, um, there are a lot of like starter kits that, that people put together online, so you can kind of check those out. As well as um, if you already have some RCs, like an RTR, like ready to run RC, you can kind of uh, rip those stuff, rip, rip the stuff out of that, and kind of temporarily put it in the kit just to try it out. So, some some options there, but that is not included in the hundred dollar price point. 
The one thing you will note notice about kits is the kit itself is always going to be much cheaper than buying an RTR. But after, depending on what electronics you put in, depending on um, what kind of setup you go with, um, it can end up being more expensive than an RTR. Uh, and on top of that, uh, you have to factor in the uh, factor in the time investment to build it and to paint it and decal it up sometimes. So some things to um, consider if you're if you if you want to check out a kit, uh, but I I personally think that if you are even remotely interested in like working on the working on your own RC card or, or just interested in working on stuff in general, a kit is going to be really really fun for you. So um, here we have the Grasshopper Two box. It's nicely set out with some of the inserts and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, here's some of the Black Edition parts. Here we have the black edition, uh, black injection molded body, and uh, I might be wrong, but I believe this is the same body they used on the Tamiya Mad Bull, which was essentially a DTO two, a DTO one buggy with lunchbox tires and then a Grasshopper two body. It was kind of like a weird Frankenstein buggy, uh, 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 RC car, but I believe they used the black injection molded body for that one. Um, I might be wrong, but. Uh, it's essentially the same body, so that looks pretty nice. Um, I originally wasn't a big fan of the Grasshopper 2 body style, but it's definitely something that's really grown on me, and especially in this black condition color scheme, it, I think it looks pretty fantastic. So, yeah. Um, and then here we have the wheels and tires. These I have never seen before. Um, this is the first Tamiya kit I'm personally seeing that uses these wheels and tires. Um, and they are actually decently soft, so pretty happy about that. Pretty high hopes for these tires, actually. Um, they don't include foam inserts or anything, they're just air filled tires, but um, it's not like the, having foam in the tires is going to really help the performance of this buggy too much anyway. So yeah, pretty nice tires. Unfortunately, they don't seem like they're standard size, so I'm not sure about um, how easy it's going to be to replace these wheels and tires uh, or replace the tires uh, but you could look into getting some aftermarket wheels and tires to fit uh, of course with an adapter because the Grasshopper 2 does use a proprietary wheel hub in the rear but speaking of the wheels here we have the black edition wheels I thought these were going to be black but they're actually more of a like a dark gray color and that looks pretty nice as well um, kind of like a steel wagon wheel style. I, I, I think they look I think they look pretty cool. So that's pretty nice. Um, over here we have the famous Grasshopper 2 chassis. Um, I'm of course very familiar with this chassis because it's also used on the Super Hornet as well as the Rising Fighter. So pretty durable and nice chassis. And also pretty easy to build. Some of the uh, suspension parts, ARs, battery door. Um, more like suspension parts. Uh, these are the hubs for the rear. So you can see it's not a hex drive like most modern RC vehicles. So if you want to use a regular 12 millimeter hex wheel, you're going to have to use a Tamiya adapter for that. It does include, it looks like. So some of the newer um, Tamiya kits seem to be including Hobby Wing ESCs at the moment, but this one does seem like it is still including the tble 4 s speed control, which um, I personally haven't had the greatest luck with yet, but other people uh, that watch my videos and have commented on them, um, they seem to really like this ESC, so I'm willing to keep, uh, continue to uh, give, it, give it a try until uh, I figure out how to properly uh, run this ESC, but it is it is a pretty decent ESC nevertheless. It will get you running And it's nice that it is included. It is, it is also a, a censored brushless ESC So if you have a censored brushless motor um, With a sensor plug and everything uh, you can run it with brushless if you would like So that that gives you more of an option which is nice the famous grasshopper 2 Hornet lunchbox, the, the famous durable solid axle rear uh, transaxle casing. Um, very, very nice transmission. So uh, that's pretty nice as well. And also really simple to build. It's literally like three gears and you put it together and it's 
It's a really, it's a really, really quick build. It comes with the black antenna tube, which I like just for aesthetic reasons. Here we have um, the black edition decal sheet, and that gold has a lot more gold flake in it than I thought it would. It, it would, and uh, that actually looks really, really nice. I'm usually not one for box arts, but the Grasshopper Two, the black edition, I might actually go with the box art because it actually looks pretty good. Um, so the instruction manual here, uh, the instruction manuals are pretty simple for this. It's a very short and very easy build. So very, very, very beginner friendly. Um, a lot of people, I think, get started with grasshoppers and uh, it, uh, the grasshopper hornet family of vehicles just because they're really easy to build, they're really easy to put together um, and really easy to work on. So you can see all that. Um, some hop up options like how to put the CVA shocks on and uh, the Grasshopper 2 comes with a uh, 380 motor uh, which I'll probably dig into and find in a second. Uh, so it's going to be a, a little slower than some of your other vehicles uh, but um, you can upgrade it to a 540 for an immediate upgrade so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and it does look like it includes a, some addendum and extra things for the black edition. Um, so here's an extra instruction manual. Looks like it's for the A arms, like putting the suspension together, I think might be a little bit different. Um, probably for the uh, CVA shocks that has to go up, up front, putting the shocks together and then detailing up the, the body and painting it. So pretty cool. Some of these older kits do come with this huge box, which will include the rest of your components. So this will have your gears, your um, your, your hardware. So you can see here we have some plastic bushings. You can upgrade to ball bearings, which I, is, which I would recommend you do. Um, it helps with performance as well as uh, runtime. So, and, and this, this kit here was like 10 bucks on Amazon. So pretty easy to find ball bearings for this kit. And uh, yeah, so ball bearings and, and, and then wheel nuts and stuff, some body clips, some screws in this bag, the CVA shock parts, basically the oil filled shock parts included. They are kind of a, like a metallic-ish uh, gray shock body. So it looks pretty neat. Um, the steering hardware, the shock oil, spring, and all, all the other uh, shock parts there. The little driver figure that you, you, you will have to paint up. Um, of course, putting the driver in is optional, but if you want to have the driver all painted up, you will have to hand paint that yourself. The famous Tamiya buggy front bumper, very nice bumper. It's actually been a while since I've seen one of these in a brand new condition. Um, all the gears, and you can see they're plastic gears, but they're very chunky gears. I've never broken any of the gears in any of these cars, so very, very durable. Um, some more hardware here. These are the drive, actual drive shafts for the axle. Also pretty durable. And this is the tiny, tiny little 380 motor. that apart, get that get in here. So the 380 motor will have a pinion gear already installed on it because usually these 380 motors, the pinion gear is like a friction fit. So you can see there's a brass pinion gear already attached. Um, and here we have the little 380 motor. And since it, uh, in case you're new, um, let me show you a regular 540 motor real quick. So here we have the Tamiya torque tuned 540 motor. So you can see it's significantly smaller. It's gonna have significantly less power and less speed. Um, but it, it is still nice that they give you something to get going. And it's kind of like the grasshopper uh, trait to come with a 380 because it's meant for young kids and young uh, hobbyists that are uh, building their first RC car. And you really don't want a crazy amount of speed uh, to give to like a 10 year old or a 12 year old or whatever. So 
pretty smart of Tamiya to do that. And then for people that want more power, you can always upgrade for more power. So that is all that's in this Grasshopper 2 box. Not too much in here, so hopefully it's not too intimidating of a build for uh, the beginners. Um, I've built many, many of these kits and I enjoy building them every single time, no matter how many times I have to build it. So very, very fun kit. I'm very excited to get this thing put together and on the road um, and all that good jazz. And so I don't make this video too, too long. I will upload a part two video um, opening up the other box that was here just a second ago, the TTO2. Um, for the on-road people so if you guys want to see that um, the video for that will be kind of linked in the end of this video or you can check out you know, check it out on my channel um, whichever way is uh, easier for you so hopefully you enjoyed this quick unboxing and discussion of the grasshopper 2 black edition And I'll see you in my next video or in the TTO2 unboxing. So either way, see you guys next time and thank you guys for watching.